my left on this platform, Amen. everyone, I believe almost everyone, now knows Wayne Wright. <laughs> and I had a, I've had the privilege, the blessing of meeting Wayne uh, when I first arrived, of course, and Paula, and Wayne Jr. here, and Shamari. And it was at the door, I remember the day, after the service, that Wayne approached me and said, I want to get baptized. Amen. And I thought, oh, amen. <laughs> Good, okay. And so we connected. We began our Bible studies in the home. Uh, those studies not only uh, were with Wayne, but uh, the boys, mom, and other folks, uh, family, other young people. So it became uh, almost like a community Bible study. And every Wednesday it has been a blessing. Wayne has asked me to continue even after baptism, more studies with him. And for me, that is something, you don't have to twist my arm. It's a joy. I like that. Well, I want to share. These are all uh, family and friends, but they also serve as witnesses. God always calls heaven and earth as a witness to whatever transpires as far as covenant relationships. And so this day, when you are entering into a covenant relationship, like marriage, you are taking on and publicly testifying that you love Jesus, that you want to follow Jesus, you want to live according to his teachings and his way. Now I'm saying that, and of course, we would all say amen, but it has to be you saying, I do. <laughs> oh, he already said I do. <laughs> but let me go through this. This is the alternate vowel. It's a little shorter of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And to each one of these three questions, some of them are multiple questions within one of them. But if you agree, would you please say I do? Wayne, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with Him? Wayne, do you desire, do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in full harmony with these teachings? Wayne, do you desire very soon, back there, to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ? To be accepted into the family, the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Not only is it this congregation, you become a member of a worldwide church, 16 million and counting. Amen. Do you desire to be accepted into the fellowship and to support the church and its mission? As a manager of God's faithful and goods that He's given to you in all forms, by your personal influence, by your tithes and offerings, by an entire life of service to Him. Amen. Amen. You are witnesses that before this gathering, this assembly, and before all those celestial beings, angels, and Individuals that the Lord Himself raised and took up as well as transported. And of course the Father and the Son and His Holy Spirit who is here with us as well today. I want to ask you as a congregation, dear brothers and sisters, members of Coco Seventh-day Adventist Church. Will you... Receive Wayne into the membership of this family and the worldwide church. Amen. Yes. I gather that the amens are saying yes. And will you also continue to support, encourage, and give him guidance as our dear brother continues to walk in his path? Amen. Amen. My dear brother, very soon, in fact, we're going to leave. Our service this morning will continue with our Brevard Adventist Christian Academy. As we're wrapping up today, the week of prayer, 
What a wonderful way to do it, right? Amen. Worshiping together on the Sabbath. Thank you. Wayne, because you have already told this gathering that you love Jesus, that it is your desire to follow Him, to live for Him, because He is your Savior. And He wants to also be Lord of your life. And you, this day, are being received into this congregation, into the family of God, local and worldwide. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The forgiveness of sins that are in Christ Jesus. The end of an old life. And the start of a new life. I baptize you in the Lord's name. 